Hi, welcome to another Duna tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use this Max 6675 chip module with the K-type thermocouple to display the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit on this LCD 1602, which has only four wires. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link, which is below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. You want to display temperature uh, either as degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit on this LCD, which has only four wire uh, from this Max 6675 module and then K-type. For that reason, I'm, uh, I've prepared this video because many people have asked for this. I'm going to explain it. Uh, for this module and in the module, we have two input that you connect this thermocouple sensor. These will have different specification, usually 600 or maybe 800 or 1200 degrees Celsius. So you will uh, connect it in here. And on this side, we have uh, uh, five wires. Uh, this is the ground and this one is the five volts. And then we have three other uh, pens. It says SO. This is the serial out. After that, we have CS. This is a chip select. And after that, this uh, is C SCK, that's the serial clock. So the three pin will be connected respectively to pin four, five, and six. This will be attached to wherever you want to get the temperature, perhaps in, in a liquid or in a tank or wherever it is. So you will just insert it. For so this uh, display, we have four pens here. You're using Arduino Uno, and then, then SCLS A5, and SDAS A4. And Arduino Mega, SDAS 20, and then SCLS 21, and Leonardo, and all of those. Actually, that chip, and this is the Max 6675. It can measure up to 1024 degrees Celsius. And in here, I've connected from the last pin, it's connected to four, the next one is connected to five, and the last one in here is connected to six. Let me explain the code. Uh, this, is, this is the max 6675.h, include means include this file as part of this program, and this is part of the library, which I'll give you the link, as, uh, and then you can download the file as zip file, and then either put it directly in under the uh, library folder inside the Arduino or the second way would be click on sketch sketch and Arduino library and then add zip library once this opened point it to the zip file for example this is a zip file just select and then click open and it will be done Once you include it, go to File, and then Examples, and then you will see Max 6675 Library, and they have uh, example. I have modified that, that example here, so I will provide you this code. You can just run it, but those examples will see also be available. This wire is part of the library that is included. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, and then after that, I will also provide you the link for this uh, liquid crystal display for the LCD the same way as the other one just include it with the library otherwise it will not work for that reason I have another video that explains this one how it works I will suggest I will provide you the link you have to go and run that you have to download that code and run it and make sure that at least you display some kind of text on this screen before coming to this because this is a combination of temperature and this so you have to make sure that this device works before connecting the thermometer or the k-type uh, thermocouple sensor so this is this will be part of the library that you download and then this line creates uh, an instance of this class we call it lcd and it has three uh, 
arguments the first one is the address this is 16 character and two line the address of your module might be different for that reason i will give you a, an i square c scanner and that one also has a i will provide you the link so you can get it here i'm running it i've just tested it before i'm running it it's called ic i square c scanner let me upload it code is uploaded you will see the address here it says 0x 3f this 0x means hexadecimal and 3f is the hexadecimal value so it just runs and continuously every few seconds will give you the address so once you find this address just put it here so this is the address for my module and your module will be different and then we have this, this three pin serial out pin pin 4 uh, chip select pin 5 and then serial clock pin pin 6 I've written it here after that we use this uh, class and we create an instance of that class and we pass these three parameters here so this this will be argument for this object and that will take care of this uh, inside the setup we first initialize the uh, LCD by LCD dot begin and then LCD dot backlight which enables the backlight on after that we just if I uh, reboot this you will see this text now I'm, I'm rebooting Arduino by pressing the reset button and you will see that this text is RoboJax Max X675 thermocouple this is the text after that I use the serial monitor initializing the serial monitor serial monitor is this monitor here that displays some information Cont continuously whatever you see here it will be displayed as well there and that 9600 baud is the value that is here it must match 9600 otherwise you will not be able to read the data and this is also the text at the beginning we give three three seconds for the user to read this in case if you have something special to display after that inside the loop this is serial print it will print the temperature on this serial monitor which is this monitor this is just printing celsius and then fahrenheit how it does is that we say thermocouple the one that we have created the instance in here we just call thermocouple dot read celsius will give you a celsius so this is the value for the celsius value that you read here and this is the thermocouple dot read fahrenheit that's a fahrenheit value this was for the serial monitor now we say lcd clear because this is loop it goes every time and then clears the previous value you need to have this and this one prints this first line here for us and it says set cursor at zero zero that means character zero of line zero this is line zero and that is line one so at line zero we say put temperature that is this text temperature and after that we go to lcd set cursor a character zero line one that is character zero of line one and then we print the celsius which is this value 21 now as you can see it and then we say go to character 5 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 at 5 we say print this car 20 2 2 2 3 it will print that uh, celsius after that we say go to 6 the next one and print this 6 uh, c so this is just for celsius and this is for fahrenheit so we go to character 7 and we create empty space we just say print this empty space and then we say go to character 8 which is starting from here and then we print thermocouple dot fahrenheit read fahrenheit we'll print the fahrenheit after that that we have counted from here that will be six characters will be 14 again we print, print the degree and after that that character 15 we say print f so it will print f and then we uh, give uh, that loop 1000 millisecond or one second and it will repeat 
that's why you will see it changes every second if there is a change we can see that the temperature is shown here exact same thing that you see here it will be here on the monitor this is the uh, k-type cup thermocouple and i have this master craft from canadian tire and i'm just blowing heat into this so you just read the temperature here As you can see, that's now that's in Celsius. It's slowly jumping. Of course, in your application, you will not need to have both of this. But in case if you have, if you want Fahrenheit and Celsius, you can do it. Otherwise, you can just use one of them, and that would be enough. Because as you can see, there was two decimal places, and because I put this here, that data shifted here, one decimal place has disappeared because I did not have enough room. But for you, you just move this decimal place one uh, more or two or more spots on this side, this uh, degree sign uh, with a Celsius or degree sign with a Fahrenheit, whichever you prefer. Very hot. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this um, MAX 6675 thermocouple sensor with K-type to display the temperature on this LCD. If you like this video, please thumb up, please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. And if you, if you have comment or question, please post it below the video in the comment section. I'll try to answer and reply.